in the body language of the Wollongong Hawks is a very positive one. Like they're the ones with the five point lead. So I think they see this as an opportunity and feel the way that the game is going. Well, the they're in a good position. The Wildcats, as you say, in a great league, dropped it, and now they could face a similar scenario. We'll see how they handle this situation. Lish all up and in on Matt Campbell. Martin gets the ball screen, got an offensive foul. I'm not sure what happened. That foul's on Matt Campbell. Yes. Matty's asking the question. <laughs> he won't die wondering. Unusual to get Matt uh, uh, a foul on the offensive end on the ball screen. Robbins. Lish. Shot clock down to five. He sprays it up outside the three-point line, comes up short. They've got to get the board, Steve. Good defense, had a hand up on Lish. Contested three, they've got to come up with that board. But that's the advantage the Wildcats have. They've got that little bit of extra size. Drawn to Campbell. Oh. Martin. Blows right past Robbins. Come up short on the finish. Lish tonight to Robbins. Redditch with wow. the fake and then blows by Sean Redditch. You've got to respect that medium range shot and just got Foreman just up on his toes enough. Well, you had Matty Campbell come off the ball screen. He had a crack at me a couple of weeks ago because I said, you know, it's probably not what he should do. He said his dad or something said that, that he, he can't dribble, which is not what I'm saying, Dad. But his strength is, is pull-up shot, and he's messing around on that ball screen. Just come off and shoot it or get it on. Perth take the lead to 10. Wollongong yet to score here in the third. Just get rid of it. Shot clock down to five. Oh, good defense by Perth. Excellent defense by the Perth Wildcats. Robbins turns it down, but Matthew Knight won't. Redditch gets it to Robbins. I was going to say, really smart play. Everybody at home saw that, uh, you know, they had two players open, it was Robbins and Leash, and Matty Campbell had to make a choice, so he just left Robbins open. That's a smart defensive play by Matty Campbell, but he still ended up with Knight getting wide open shot. Oscar Foreman catch and shoot after Savile gave it to him. Yeah, that's Oscar's strength. The Hawks need him to knock those shots down. The shooters have got to make shots. Robbins, a little hesitant, comes up short. I don't know why he hesitates. His shot looks a hell of a lot better than what it did a couple of years ago. Tries to come up with the defensive play on Savile. And you know what, though, too, Steve? I know Bevo real well. He wouldn't even mention it about not hesitating or not taking a shot. Robbins has just got to back himself. He's he so much better player, and his shot looks okay. Well, a couple of years ago, he had it looked like he had made that commitment, worked on his shot, got the confidence in the game to knock a couple of them down. I like coached against him uh, years ago. I think he was playing with Cairns. He, he just did not guard him at all. He would not look at it. So he has improved from that point of view. And as you say, his shot's improved. So for him to be a complete player, though, he's got to, he's got to have a crack at that. Savile got it down to two. Not seeing many jumpers go down at the moment. Lish to Redditch. He puts it on the floor, gets it to Robbins in rhythm. That just rims out. You gotta take that though. Keeps the defense on us. It's wide open. No problem. I know Bevo. Bevo would have no problem with that. Wow, that should have been Perth Wildcats ball, should it? Shot it out of court. He's not going to blow a foul. I'm not sure who, who that went off of. Well, Sharon Glover shot it out of court. It's either a foul or it's Perth Wildcats ball. 51 to 39, 6.55 to go here in the third. 
another great Don't Think Twice price from Red Rooster. Two classic roast chicken quarters and chips for just $10. For real value. Don't think twice. Single? You're not alone. There are thousands of people just like you looking for someone special. You just have to know where to find them. Light up your life and search for singles in your local area at oasisactive.com. It's fun, it's free, and it works. As they make the adjustments, the Perth Wildcats get a better start in the second half than they did on Friday. And I keep mentioning that because they look like world beaters in the first half and then just looked as if there was glad wrap over the top of the rim. They just couldn't get anything to fall. Well, they got some pretty good shooters out in the floor. The Wildcats, it's unusual for them to have a drought. Uh, also, the, the, the Hawks, Larry Davidson, Matty Campbell, Ben Savile, they can all shoot the ball. Glover waits for his screen. Again with the cutters in the hands. Yeah, I think Matty had hold of him. <laughs> and he milked it. Matty Campbell, that is. A few Maddies out there tonight. Matthew Knight. Yeah. Savile losing the handle, gets it back. Redditch comes up with a loose ball. Turns on the Jets. Tough shot over the top. Tron with a good dig. Nice hand for label to to Tron. And then loses the handle. But gets it back. Shoot that Savaloy. Savile gets the bump from Bartlett. I thought Katron, once he got it back, was going to start dribbling again. <laughs> Just watch it, Glenn. I think he needs to shoot that pull up jumper, probably trying to go a little bit too deep at times. The turnovers, big part of the game tonight. Wollongong with 14, the Wildcats just three. That's a huge turnover rate. Probably should be more you know, down by a bit more. Bartlett, probably a little too close to Glover. On a ball reversal, he's up and in. Yeah, too easy, Steve. And again, you know, any game I watch, after spending you know eight or nine years with the national team, I really watch it from an international point of view rather than, you know, that is a foul every time overseas. But, we, you know, whether we get that call consistently, that's the thing here. Conrad had Toby on his back. Because if you're allowed to pump and grind, Steve, you don't have to move your feet. And you get over there and play against quick guards internationally, we can't guard them. If we're not conditioned, they have to guard them by moving our feet. Katron, tough fall away. is an air ball by about three feet. Neville at the high post hands it hands it to Toby. Good cut by Neville can't get the finish. Yeah, he's got to finish that. You can't expect a call on that. The big fella's got to finish that. Katron with the up and under. It's grabbed by Redditch. Both teams have dried up from the perimeter. Redditch with the floater comes up short. See, Luke Neville should get the ball. He's got it. Good post up. Crowd wanted three seconds. He was in there for quite some time. Wide open. Glover. Will that count? I know it didn't go in, but I thought maybe the rim had been touched or the backboard. Yeah, good, good move, though. Push it on the break. That's what little guys have got to do. Test the referees out. Test everything out. Very, very light bump on that one, but... You know, you've got your home crowd behind you. If you've got an experienced referee, you're going to get those calls. Coaches know it, players know it. Yeah, Bevo was asking the question why that was a foul. I guess I'm sharing some little secrets here. The, co the coaches are going to ask a question. If they see something soft or, you know, and again, it sounds like they're inconsistent. Yeah. 
We've got to get some consistency with it all. Leads 10. A little over five to go. Here in the third, Wagstaff has it knocked away. Glover has to wait for it. Kurt do a good job of sending numbers back in transition D. They got a mismatch today. See, they didn't see it. See, you got Leash on to try and that's what I talk about players. Students in the game, you just see that mismatch. You should have loved the basketball from Conrad. Get another look. And that's on Neville. As Larry Davidson goes to the foul line, try and cut into this 10 point lead. Again, you know, they let the big guys bang overseas, Steve, but you had check a guard or bump a guard, it's a foul. It's, 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 and we've got, I still think we've got to officiate that way. And for us to be better internationally. And it's not just about the players improving, it's about the whole game. Lish loses the handle. He's got to get it up quickly. Violation. You mishandle the ball in the backcourt. All, the, all of a sudden, it comes urgent. Yeah. But you get it over the timeline. Timeout on the floor. Wollongong crowd trying to get into it. Still down by eight. Perth have had all of the answers jump, jump, jump. in tonight's game. But Wollongong have stayed close. Haven't been able to put them away. Some good defense by Tyson Demos, you know, turning the ball and putting that pressure on Leash to, to make that turnover happen. It's just what they need to get back into the game. And I'm still surprised that it's only eight points of difference, but if the Hawks are within six or eight at three-quarter time, they've still got a chance to win this game big time. Conrad, you're going. Okay, show. You're going. Okay. Big guy, you're out of there. You're getting a catch here. You should have the big fella on you. So on that catch, we want you going to Luke Neville. After that, what we want is we want to go blue stretch with Neville and we want to go hand numbers with Neville. Okay? We want to press up the floor. 21. Okay? Back to our 113. All right? Push it. Here we go. Hawks, one, two, three. Well. Steve, on this one with Gordy, he, he's really going to try and exploit uh, Neville defensively. You know, he's he's uh, big, but he's a little slower. They're going to use him off on balls. They're going to run him off screens to see whether he helps on curls, but with how he is off the on ball. And he, you definitely don't want Luke Neville showing it on balls. It's going to be late for him, too early. You want him in what's a drop situation. So Gordy wants to exploit that. And he won't be happy about that. We're just coming out. Uh, jacking up a contested three when he's just asked him to, to go at it. Toby for three on the other Five side. Five point turnaround. Side ones in. He, he, he's livid. Oh, look at him. He, he, he's upset. You get a timeout to execute a play. Nothing makes you mad as a coach, Steve, and you don't come out and get that done. That's not smart. It's not following instructions. He's got his hands waving everywhere, and here comes the substitution. Ruber will come in. Robbins, active hands, Catron. Pull up jumpers group. Shot clock was expiring. Tough shot. Good defense by Wagstaff. They can't ask any more than get the hand up. Nice pass from Wagstaff. Let's see if he Neville. gets fouled. Yeah. Well, well, often we guys get the whole stick in our league. Well, Neville gets that call, and he makes no mistake. He looked a little frustrated there. Yeah, he is. He's, he's feel, it gives himself a clap. He's, he's just about building confidence because the game will, should slow down as it goes on, and he, he should become a factor. I hope, what? Be I hope Rob perseveres with him through this little period and see what happens rather than something out. But the Hawks haven't executed what Gordy wants yet. Let's see if they do it now. Lover. He's just dribbling around right now. That's nothing. Demos. See, so now they're looking for Neville to be involved on the on-ball screen. 
The love jump shot by Glover, not even close. Shoot that Tyson Demos. That's a Tyson Demos shot. You want, to, you want him taking that. Backdoor cut by Conrad, who throws it out of bounds. Wildcats are hanging tough, Steve, aren't they? It's uh, that's still a long way to go. Toby brings it up for Perth. Toby to Neville, and he's grabbed hard. Toby just dribbling around until he draws some D. Well, it's what we talked about, the advantage they have. Like, they took, you know, Gordy wants to exploit Neville on the defensive end. It has not happened. To Rob Beveridge's advantage is if he, this kid gets the ball that close to the basket, it's over. It's two points or it's free throws. But he's got to capitalize, I guess, from the free throws. Be positive with yourself, son. Staff looking very calm as Luke Neville hits one out of two. Or two, or one out of his last three. The opportunity to get that three-point play. Good slide to pivot. Yeah, it was. They, they caught it earlier. Glover has it boarded or blocked out of bounds. I like that little change of defense off the free throw for Rob Beverage. He's done that his whole career as a junior coach. He throws some little challenges at you. Got a great assistant coach in Sean Dennis as well. I have Sean as an assistant who was a head coach at Newcastle Falcons. So very good coaching team right there. Great at scouting. Good with tendencies. Neville with some active hands and Wollongong don't get a shot off. Wollongong need to. And there's Sean Dennis there. Billy Joel looking like. Well, the Hawks uh, are struggling to execute right now and. You know, again, they're only, but it's still only 12 points down, but they can't, you know, sooner or later they've got to make a run and, and at least get it under under double digits. Look at the bumping going on there. Two bigs banging. Neville skips it to Williamson. Pull up jump shot short. Wagstaff. He comes up short as well. Hawks dodge a bullet there. Well, Glover should go and get the ball there. Larry shouldn't be responsible for bringing it up. Demos, oh, shot, ooh, got bailed out. Won't see Robbins do that very often. Tenacious defender, but also a smart one. Demos, who hasn't hit a field goal, is shooting a tough one. Well, a couple of freebies there for Tyson Demos. Might get him going. Yep. First free throw missed by Wollongong. They were a perfect 11 for 11 before Demos wasn't able to hit that. Makes the adjustment and drills it. A little bit of pressure up the floor from the Hawks down there. See how tight that is? That's a foul waiting to happen, Steve. But again, what Tyson Demos is doing is testing the referees. Are you going to let me play that tight? I'm going to bump the guy, but in this situation, the referee called the foul, and rightfully so. We've got to teach guys to play defense with their feet. And Robbins knows it, too. Gets himself to the line, knows his team is in the bonus. Splits the defense. And drills his first free throw. As you say, even this part of uh, Robbins' game's improved. Sometimes they never really miss a Damian Martin, but it's a blessing in the sky sometimes to give a guy more minutes and he steps up and, and that increases your depth. And that's the opportunity that Greg Hires played more minutes. See, look at this. There's no way Larry Davidson should be able to handle that ball. And the Hawks turn it over. I wouldn't be surprised if Reese Martin comes in the next minute and a half. Robbins in the devil. See the push. <laughs> Now he's back out. Robbins misses oh, the three. Geez. Wagstaff tries to keep it alive, but Davison grabs it. 
Lynch just a little bit on that anticipation, a little bit late. He but tried to bounce. sell it pretty good with a nice flop, too. <laughs> I guess the top, watch this. <laughs> what was it, the Tigers game you and Andrew were doing the other night? I was waiting for it. He, he grabbed the guy to, and flopped and got the inbound, the, the, the foul call. Two shot side ball, is that right, the other night? I'm trying, I'm trying to leave it behind. Well, that was my New Year's resolution. To stay off the officiating. Yeah. How am I going? No, you're doing a good job. I'm not sure how good I am. But, you know, it's it's just like anything. Everyone's accountable, players, coaches. We, we want to uh, see the game officiated as best as they can be as a long play. Drew Williamson misses an opportunity with the open look. Give him compliments too. That was a good referee. The guy slipped over and traveled. Sometimes referees react to the ball foul, but it's a good referee. Interesting level point, Steve. Haven't been able to make too much headway the horse. But you just you just know they're capable of it. Neville with the big screen creates some space for Robbins. Wagstaff. Rips it through. Tough shot. Neville keeps it alive, but can't get the tip. Savile in the open court. And just turn and shoot up. He draws a double to Lish with the good hands. Goes out of bounds. Perth just tenacious with those active hands. Good heads up play by Leash. See the mismatch having to go help and double on that too. You know, he, he knows Sam's going to score over Williams in that situation. Again, that's a smart player. They get a good call on defense again. Look at this mismatch. Harry Davidson had Leash on him and not recognizing it. Right, Another shot clock violation by Wollongong. This should be the last shot of the third quarter. Picked up. You don't want to pick up the drill. You've got to get something happening there. It's three to go. Robbins, wow. Well done, son. He has struggled. Now you're not going to stick with too many teams, especially a team as good as the Perth Wildcats. 